associated with the fire department. Again, they put on our Christmas parade, and of course, just the work they do as part of the fire department, Suzanne, that's just brave. They, they are our heroes, for sure. They are tremendous. You can tell they've been shining on that truck. You think they took that with the car on? I, I don't know if it would fit. No. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We got yeah. our... Is that our AMVET squad? We apologize. We don't have a list here, and we're just kind of winging it here. Our AMVETs and our POWs, we appreciate uh, all of our soldiers, active and uh, those retired military, our veterans. We appreciate you so much. We wish you a Merry Christmas, and God bless you all. Oh, look what you've done. You are the go-getter. I know how to get things done. That's right. Okay. And uh, There's our Mayor of Smithfield. Jimmy Paws. Mr. Jimmy Paws. Got his lovely wife Joyce in there. Merry Christmas to you. He's yelling something at us. I can't tell what it is, though. It's, I'm sure it's something really nice. <laughs> State Senator Ray Beavers is the next entry in our parade. Representing our senatorial district. Merry Christmas to you, Senator. And she is followed by 40th State Representative Terry Lynn Weaver. Terry Lynn's got her tree up in the back of the truck, got her candy. Well, she's decorated today. And I bet she's singing a song along the way. I know she's always got a song in her heart, and she enjoys this time of year. Merry Christmas to you. Well, she's another one of our fabulous singers. Yeah, a lot of talent around this area, a lot of good singers. Next entry is our honorary member of the DeKalb County Emergency Services community, Mr. Josh Bell. Whoa, hey, look at that. <laughs> I, he must uh -oh. have in school time. I dropped them. I dropped one of them. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Josh. <laughs> Next up is our DeKalb County High School band queen, Miss Hannah Cantrell. Hannah, you cold sitting up in that car? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together. Let's make welcome the award-winning DeKalb County High School Fighting Tiger Band.
Pratt County High School Pontiac Tiger Band. Great job, y'all. And Merry Christmas. Fantastic as always. They're all decked out. They're black and gold. They look good. They do look handsome. Sound great. All right. Great, just getting underway here in Smithville, Tennessee today. The annual Smithville Christmas Parade put on each and every year by the Smithville Fire Department. Well, I like a brown color. I do. All right, we got uh, Troop 633, I believe, of our local scouts coming through next. The jolly old elf leading the way there, throwing out some candy. And how about all our scouts there? Merry Christmas! Got the little elf hats on. Little elf hats and big smiles, big old smiles. All right, more of our troops is. Uh, I gotta start wearing my glasses more, Suzanne. These I numbers think that's are one one four six. Yep. Yeah. All right, eleven forty six. Merry Christmas. Got some of our automobile entries. And Merry Christmas to you. Do you have your uh, car all decorated up? Uh, I do not. In fact, it needs to, to be run through the car wash like the <laughs> fire engine, I believe. Hey, look, there's Blue from Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues on the car. On the car there. Merry Christmas. All right, some of our vintage automobiles. And hey, don't forget at the end of the parade, folks, we will be announcing the winners uh, in the flow competitions and. Uh, all the divisions of our Smithfield Christmas Parade. Mr. Charlie Parker will join us for the presentation of the awards at the conclusion of the parade, so be sure to stick around for that. And, of course, for all the boys and girls to come out and see jolly old Santa Claus. Well, that's a fine-looking black car right there. It's beautiful. Love that. And we got Troop 2103 coming around the corner next. Merry Christmas. Those f hats are uh, pretty popular. They, I guess, they keep your ears in. Right? Yes, yes. True three forty seven. I tell you, this true helps me at every chamber event. They were here for Christmas on the square. They were there for the chamber prayer breakfast. They're there for everything. Great bunch of groups. All we'll right. Out there. I know that big smiling face in the, the back there. Look, oh, look at that. Look out there. Merry Christmas, y'all. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Jim <laughs> Doug Stevens is here. Look at that. We're set now. It pays to know some voices. I tell you. Thank you. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Pack 347. That little fella, he hitched a ride right there. He got it. He, he figured it out. <laughs> All right. We got Rock 937 out of Cookville coming up next. And their truck rocking the holidays, I'm sure. Merry Christmas to you folks. All right. Now, pardon me if I get a little behind on the list. I'm trying to match names and faces and automobiles and such as that, and some of it. Got me a little confused, Suzanne, which is not real hard for me to do. Merry Christmas to you folks. We've got some fine Chevrolet trucks here. Beautiful, beautiful. And I see we've got our first float entry coming up next. And that is going to be from the Calvary Baptist Church here in Smithville with the theme, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Always look forward to seeing the floats. I know we talked about that earlier and then just all the hard work that goes into building these floats each and every year. Oh, they spend so much time getting ready for the parade. We so appreciate it because it makes it so special. They don't use the tissue and the chicken wire like they used to, though. It's just a lot it's more. A better way. It's a lot easier now, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Brother BJ? Somebody got some Christmas. <laughs> yes, they did. Hey, that's beautiful. Beautiful float. And we got the Calvary Kids coming up next. Merry Christmas! Go sing us a song? Are you too cold? <laughs> They're trying. They're trying. I imagine they've been riding from the elementary school, their mouth's probably about frozen. I know mine feels like it is. Look at that Sinclair truck, Tom. I love it. 
Mr. Eric Peterson, I do believe, and Miss Lisa. That's what that's what you need, Susan. Yeah, I need that. You would look I, great in that. I you know, love that yeah, car. kick back, have you some great tunes going. Oh my! Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I need that with a big boom box in the back. Oh man! It's going I down the road. That. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we got our 2013 BPW Autumn Princess Miss Ellison Cripps is our next entry. Merry Christmas, Ellison. And it looks like our next float comes to us from the Matthews family. <laughs> the true meaning of Christmas, the birth of Christ, absolutely. That's pretty Merry impressive. Christmas. Yeah. Great job, y'all. Great float. And yeah. next is our, is that our Ferris of the Fair, Miss Grace Webb. We love Grace. She was so great at the DeKalb Fair this year, helping us with all the other pageants, you know, after she won. Right. The Queen always helps out, and she was Fabulous. Bumpers. Bumpers with an automobile entry as well. Now we've got Miss Hayden Hale, the 2013 Miss Junior Tigerette. She put the crown over her Santa hat. That was pretty smart. Yeah, keep that Santa hat from, yeah. Just keep it Keep them warm. More. more automobile entries and I got the cars interspersed amongst the floats and things. That's kind of neat this time. I like that. Yeah. Are they color coded? You think we've got the yellow, the yellow cars now? I don't yeah. know. We had blue cars earlier. Yes, that's. A, I didn't notice that, but they may have done it that way on purpose. All right. My Chevrolet coming up. My husband has not found a Chevrolet he does not like. <laughs> we used to have that one. You used to have that very car? We used to have one like one it. One like it. Yeah. That's pretty. I like that. I can see. I'd love to have something like that. And old Elvis and Chuck Berry yeah. tunes and yeah. cruising down the street. Oh. That's it. I grew up in the wrong era. I always say that. I grew up in the wrong era. <laughs> Our next float entry, I believe, is coming to us from Girl Scout Troop 2020. Is that right? Wow. Yeah! Look at that, that train. That's pretty creative. Merry Christmas. Beautiful. Must be the Christmas Express. Polar Express. Polar Express. Yeah. What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Miss Julia Curtis, our 2013 Miss Autumn Sweetheart Queen. Julia, Merry Christmas. Bruce and Amy, they look all warm. <laughs> Bruce confirms that he is warm. <laughs> Sarcastic. Oh, that's a really going <laughs> No doubt about it. Hey, Christmas. All right. More automobiles coming through, and still a long line of parades. Suzanne, Ooh, look far at back. Look that right there. Far back as we can see. Beautiful automobiles. You know what my husband wants under the Christmas tree? That <laughs> red Chevrolet truck right there. Can you fit that under the tree? You better get a big tree. I would do it. <laughs> oh, look at the lights on the back of it. Oh, man, that's pretty awesome. Now, there you go, convertible top. Oh, wow. I like that. That's pretty sweet. It's raining pepper big candy. It is. If you don't, uh, if you don't come away with some candy today, you're not trying. There's a lot of to be had. Got another of our troop, scout troops coming up. Girl Scout Troop 1983 with their float entry. Oh, they're excited. I think they're fighting. <laughs> they must be sisters. <laughs> <laughs> the wrapping paper did not make it through the break. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Our 2013 DeKalb Fair Miss Sweetheart Queen is Abigail Hope Taylor. Followed by 2013 DeKalb County Fair Extreme Queen Shelby Spray. That's a pretty car there, also. I don't think I've ever seen a Corvette I didn't like. Oh, I know. Rebecca Adams, our DeKalb Fair Little Miss Sweetheart People's Choice Award winner. 
and she was a doll at the fair. You should, she just lights up the place when she's there. <laughs> Now we got a float uh, from Girl Scout Troop 1915. Coming up next. Merry Christmas! They're awful quiet today, aren't they? They are quiet. They're cold. <laughs> Very cold, they said. Very. Look at that gingerbread house. That is fantastic. Our 2013 Spring Blossom Junior Miss Queen is Sarah Ann Caldwell. Coming up next. Merry Christmas. Cap County Fair, Little Miss Princess Queen, Addison Puckett. And next entry from Pioneer Credit coming up. All right. We got the Jefferson Community Church with a float. Merry Christmas from the Jefferson Community Church. Merry Christmas to you folks, too. Jesus is the reason for the season. Can you imagine standing here how cold it is riding all the way from the elementary school. It gets quite chilly for these youngins on these floats out here. All right, Cash Express with an automobile in the parade. Merry Christmas to you folks. And our Mr. and Ms. Motlow, J.T. Morgan, and Katie Haggard. Our next entry is coming up. We love that Katie Haggard around here. She's a good one. She yeah. is. More pageant royalty coming up is the 2013 DeKalb County Little Miss is Annabella Dacus. Vehicle entries from Pascal and Close Realty. All decked out for Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. That's a vacation home on wheels. Yeah. All right. Next up is the float from DeKalb Community Bank. Well, that's a happy looking bus today. It like is. That. Oh, they're always smiling really big. They're they can really throw that candy. They can, they can. Look, Look at out. <laughs> Whoa, <Tom>. Danger. <laughs> Our 2013 DeKalb County Fair Little Miss Queen is Isabella Rackley. Isabella? Fall Fest Queen and 2013 Tiger Pride Queen is Miss Tania Cantra. Look at that big, beautiful crown. Merry Christmas. Next up, we got the BB Saddle Up Cancer Awareness Floats. They're excited. That's an excited bunch of folks there. <laughs> we've had quite a bit of folks today. Guys. Yes, we've had several. Absolutely. Merry Christmas to you folks. Have our entry from DTC Communications coming up next. And of course, some of the folks here don't forget to catch our parade on DTC Channel 3 throughout the Christmas season. Say enough about our local fire department. 
our local rescue squad, EMT, ambulance service. We've got the best of the best, in my opinion, Suzanne. When it comes to emergency services, DeKalb County second to none. We are in good hands here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we appreciate our fire and rescue folks. Just maybe off in the distance, I see. Oh yeah. Someone jolly. You're exactly right, Tom. I see him too. All right. We better get on our best behavior, you know. We gotta be good. Yeah, for goodness' sake. We've only for five minutes. Five minutes. We can yeah. do it. I think I could get my smile to freeze that way for five minutes. <laughs> Boys and girls, don't forget Santa's gonna be downtown after the parade. Y'all stick around and come back and see him and uh, get those Christmas wish lists ready. We're just, you know, it's less than three weeks until Christmas. Wow. I believe this year has flown by. It really has. Well, once again, we want to say a big thanks to the Smithville Fire Department for another wonderful Christmas parade. They do a great job every year. And we just appreciate all the hard work that goes into it, getting the entries, getting them all lined up, prepared, and uh, it's a lot of work, but these guys do it because they love to do it, and we appreciate them so very much. Well, they never disappoint, Tom. Never, never. <laughs> and of course, uh, and we mentioned the parade, but we just can't thank our uh, local fire departments and emergency personnel enough. Hey, don't forget the, uh, I want to mention this one more time, the Lions Club is selling hot chocolate and hot coffee, hot cider, down on the uh, northeast corner of the courthouse. If uh, you're hanging out a little bit, go support the Lions Club. They support a lot of great works around uh, DeKalb County, and we want to uh, help those folks out, and it helps us out, too. That hot chocolate's pretty good today. Oh, it was delicious, and, you know, take your hot chocolate and go visit all the stores yep. around town. Go shopping. Go see the uh, local businesses here downtown, and uh, pop your head in and check out some great bargains. It's that time. Got to get that shopping done. I, I'm the... I'm the Procrastinate. Yeah, I am. I, I can't help it. I just do it. I, I wait and I put it off and I put it off and usually I just have to get what's left. Well, Tom, when you got 10 grandkids, let me tell you, you oh. have to get on it. So I've, I've been getting on it. Did you get down to the Black Friday fray? I, actually, I did. Did you? Yeah, oh. a little bit. I didn't, I didn't go like for eight hours or anything, but maybe a couple hours. I almost have to have a helmet, some shoulder pads and stuff yeah. to get out and see people get to... You come back with bruises from shopping. You have the you have Thanksgiving Day where everybody's so gracious and thankful and happy for all they've got, and then the day after Thanksgiving where they're fighting and clawing and scratching over things they want. For those bargains. <laughs> you just gotta love that. Two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, folks. The Alexandria Christmas Parade is scheduled, and uh, we hope you'll make your way down to the western end of DeKalb County. Hope the weather holds up. We'll have a nice day for that tomorrow. So uh, be sure to take the kids down, and uh, everybody go out and support the town of Alexandria and their Christmas parade. That'll be the last one here in the county for this yeah, year. Liberty. Right up at the Jim Curtis Highway, yep. about 1.30. Right. Liberty had theirs last week, and as always, they had a wonderful parade. And uh, Smithfield's today. Alexandria, we'll wrap it up tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the man of the hour, one we all came to see today. Let's give a big DeKalb County welcome to Santa Claus. Woo! You know, this is probably nothing to Santa, this weather. This is probably summertime for Santa. Oh, this is like, yeah, yeah it's normal. Right, because, you know, the North Pole, it gets really cold there. So, here, this is, this is probably... Heat wave. I'm surprised he's not wearing shorts, to be honest. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Look at all them pretty little smiling faces in our Smithville Fire Rescue truck. And again, a big thanks to our Smithville Fire Department for all their great... Great work this year. My consonants are running together, Suzanne. I think my mouth is freezing. All right, at the conclusion of the parade, we will announce the winners in the float competition. I see Charlie Parker. Charlie will be up here to join us for that. And uh, we'll do that at the conclusion of the parade. And there's old Santa up there on top of the, got his sleigh hooked up and uh, well, it won't be long. He's a busy, busy guy this time of year. Well, Rudolph is leading the troops tonight. Yep. Merry Christmas, Santa! 
<laughs> and Happy New Year. Of course, after Santa, we've got all of our horses, riders, some buggies. And boy, they go back. Look at that. Cold weather don't deter these folks either. They're serious about these riding, riding these horses in the parade. That is a lot of animals. It is. It is. And we've got uh, Michael H. E. candidate for the Cab County Sheriff. It's going to be the leading the way here. The horse-drawn wagon. I guess those are mules. Technically, not horses. I, I, guess I should look at that. <laughs> you got to help me out here, Suzanne. I'm uh, you know. have a little problem knowing the difference with something. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Merry Christmas to you folks. Horses in their hats and their sleigh bells and all decked out and ready for Christmas. Well, they're definitely beautiful animals, aren't they? Yep, absolutely. B and B princesses, Leah B, Lydia, Carly. All right. Merry Christmas to you, all our horses and riders. We'll probably see some tricks and stuff along the way. Hey, look at the little Shetland pony. How about that? Look at the little rider. I think that was the size pony I was riding that year that it passed the whole parade. If you imagine, my feet were dragging the whole way. That's about the size I need to ride now because I, you know, I had one horse riding experience that didn't turn out so well, and yeah. That's it for you too. Right, that was it. Yeah. I think I'm the only person in history been banned from riding horses in the day. <laughs> well, the horse decided he wanted to go to the barn. I wasn't ready to go to the barn. But, uh, and there wasn't enough room for me and him both to get in the barn. That was the problem. So, uh, yeah, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> well I think we've got some professional riders here today. Oh, yeah. These, be good. these folks know what they're doing, no doubt. Got a lot of local saddle clubs that, uh, a lot of riders are around this area and, uh, you don't realize how many do you have a parade. Really, honestly. And they come out in full force for the Christmas parades, and we appreciate them a lot. I just love how much work they put into decorating, decorating their horses. Decorating their horses, I know. Yeah, get them all ready for Christmas. <laughs> you only one run? Well, folks, as the parade is starting to draw to a close, we want to again remind you to uh, hang around downtown Smithville after the parade. Santa's going to be back up here to talk to all the boys and girls and uh, give you an opportunity if you've not seen Santa yet. Got to get those wish lists in. It's, it's that time of year. And, uh, uh, of course, I don't know if you're doing good or bad. So. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, hang out, talk to Santa. Bring we'll your announce... camera and get some pictures. Yeah, bring your cameras, get pictures with Santa. We're going to announce the float winners coming up here in just a few moments. And uh, oh, well, nice to lean on the horse just going by. That was. Yeah. That was surprising. That was to me, too. Yeah, she's a... Uh, She's, she's kind of gotten used to doing that, I think, riding a horse, so. All right. Birthday parties, you need one. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Well, okay. Okay. First United Methodist Church of Mid-Zone is having a fundraiser right now, and they've got chili and hot chocolate, and uh, it's right over, not even a block from us on Church Street. So go back and see the good folks there. And as we mentioned, the Lions Club selling hot chocolate and hot apple cider and coffee and baked goods down on the uh, northeast corner of the square. What a parade we have had today. What a parade. All the entries out here today, Suzanne, the